It truly is a way of life. We all have dedicated our professional and personal lives to the care of these amazing animals. It's a huge responsibility, but ultimately a privilege to be able to care for, teach, learn from, and build strong relationships with these killer whales. We are proud of what we do, and we're excited to share all that we've learned through our relationships with you tonight and for many years to come. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy. Takara 
Takara is the oldest member at 31 years old. Takara is also the matriarch of the pod, which means she's the leader. These whales trust us, and they take an active role in their own health care and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we train them husbandry or health care behaviors. Joining us tonight at the slide-up are trainers Dick Perry and Laura to help demonstrate those behaviors for all of you. One of the very first behaviors that the killer whales learn is called a fluke present. Kaiyuka is demonstrating that right now. Not only are we able to get a really good look at the entire underside of his body, but we also have access to easy to see shallow veins that run along the white undersides of his tail glutes. At least once a month, our veterinarian team can come by and take a blood sample from these veins. Now, throughout tonight's presentation, you might see the trainers giving the killer whales a back rub, a pectoral flipper massage, or a tail flute massage. Killer whales have very sensitive skin, and this is just one of the many ways that we can build our relationship with them. Collecting blood is just one of the ways that we can ensure the health of the animals. Another important husbandry behavior is called a slide out. And this is important because in the position that Kaiyuka is about to demonstrate, on the left hand side of the stadium, we are able to get an accurate weight. Now, as Kaiyuka slides out of the water, you might notice a portion of his body is still in the water. This is called his peduncle, and it is made up of several large, powerful muscles that can weigh hundreds of pounds. So in order to get an accurate weight, we've trained the whales to lift their heads and tails just like that. And that's how we know on a Tuesday morning, Kaiyuki is weighing in at over 9,600 pounds. It's important to weigh all of the killer whales to ensure the younger whales, like Sakari and Kamea, are growing appropriately, and the more mature whales, like Kaiyuki, are maintaining a healthy weight. All of these husbandry behaviors help us ensure that the animals are healthy and thriving. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital. And we surprise and engage with our whales in every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt. For the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for their whales is an important part of life. All righty, everybody, over here on the left side of the stadium, we have a new friend named Alyssa, and she's going to help demonstrate how killer whales learn. So killer whales learn through observational learning and mimicry, and from a young age, they play follow leader with their mothers or other members of the pod. Here at SeaWorld, they play follow leader with us as well, and it looks like they're playing follow leader with Alyssa, too. He's paying very close attention to you. Kill whales have excellent eyesight both above and below the water. And we often see them spy hopping or even leaping completely out of the water to get a better view of their surroundings. And in just a moment, we're going to have Alyssa ask how you hit for the siding bow hand signal. Beautiful job. All right, everyone. Hayukit is going to dive down to this 40-foot deep habitat. You guys will turn your attention to the center of the habitat. This is Hayukit. That was beautiful. Over here on the right side of the stadium, we have a new friend named Mike, and he's going to help us learn about killer whale communication. So killer whales communicate in a number of different ways, and one of those ways is through vocalizations that they make using the blowhole on the top of their head. Mike, why don't you go ahead and give Kaiyuki that first hand signal when you're ready. That sounded beautiful, Kaiyuki. Another way that killer whales can communicate is by tapping different body parts on the surface of the water. This might be a tail fluke, a pectoral flipper, or even their entire body. When killer whales leap out of the water and crash back down onto the surface, 
that's how 